Welcome back guys to the channel. Um, today I am going to show you guys how I saved my engine for $30 and we're going to get started. Today we are going to be installing a catch oil catch can to the uh, G35 today. Um, I'll go over briefly what an oil catch can does. You can go ahead and do your own research online and stuff like that but I'm just going to briefly go over it and um, why I chose this uh, option as to be vented and why I went with the cheaper option besides saving money but basically um, an oil catch can is to catch all the uh, oil that gets sucked up through your intake um, your intake into your uh, plenum uh, to your upper plenum and your lower plenum um, this hosing right here is connected to my uh, valve cover that is down here which is connected to this thing right here on my driver's side and your my PCV valve at right here and right here and basically what happens is is that since a vacuum is being created that it's picking up all the uh, the oil and everything that's inside your valves and it's getting recirculated back into your engine now there's a whole like history behind it or whatever on why they had it run back into the car and not to the atmosphere like how they did before but I'm not gonna go into that but um, basically what an oil catch can does is catch that oil that would be going back into your engine bay, not into your engine bay, into your engine, and to reduce blow by that happens in your combustion chambers in your, uh, in your engine. So I went with this one. It's a cheaper option. It's, I paid 30 bucks for this on Amazon. And just about everything that I buy at this point is almost from Amazon. Um, shout out to Amazon. But so far, so good. It looks like a really, really good product. Um, it comes with a vented option. You can run it uh, closed. And it comes with the dipstick. And it's made out of aluminum. Um, the only cheap thing that came with it that feels cheap are these uh, fittings. They um, feel just feel like a low-grade low uh, metal. And as well as this hosing. Now, Literally everybody in the reviews says throw away the hosing, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. So we're not gonna be using that at all. Instead, I bought some uh, fuel line hosing from AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, any type of like uh, automotive store. So this is nine millimeter to run from my PCV valve, and I bought 15 millimeter. And what we're gonna be doing is installing this correctly. And I see a lot of people run it incorrectly. And I made sure that I did my research that I so I install it correctly and it performs the best that it can. The reason why I went with the ventilator option was because it offers its own um, its own uh, air. What, what, what may I say? It's not using your intake system as that suction. Instead, it's creating its own vacuum, which is really really good because if you use a closed system, you're you practically install the catch can for nothing like yes it does like prevent oil and everything like that from going back into your uh, intake system or whatever but ultimately you would want to install a vented because it's going to be creating its own vacuum so everything is literally going to be going through the catch can and then to your car and your intake manifold right here is going to be only sucking in air and nothing else so that's why I'm going with the vented um a good person who explains it is uh, Motordyne. I'm not sure if you guys ever looked at his videos or whatever. But he, um, it's called fixing oil consumption or something like that on your car. So basically, I looked at that video. I did my research online and whatnot. Um, a vented versus a uh, closed circuit. But um, that's why I'm doing vented. Um, and one more thing that I forgot to mention was these plugs right here. Plugging off the... Uh, the hosing that connects to the uh, intake and the PCV valve as well. We're going to be plugging those off. So the rough, relatively rough pricing that I can say is I paid 30 bucks for this. For It's a ruined catch can. I'm going to link it down below. Um, it comes with multiple fittings, um, O-rings and whatnot, clamps so you can clamp the hosing down. Um, I got this at AutoZone for I think like four and some change I bought some the line the these two together came up to like 13 or 14 bucks 
And then this is a coolant line that's 15 millimeters. It cost me, I think, $8. So it's still getting up there, So, but it's not as pricey as those other catch cans. And basically, you just want a catch can that has baffles in it. If it has baffles in it, you should be fine. I know some catch cans don't, and so it literally doesn't really do anything. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money buying an oil catch can. Like, I wanted to go with the Mishimoto one, but it was like... 200 plus dollars and i was like you know what if i can make save my engine for cheaper and that would be a lot better and as for everyone else th because what i'm doing in these videos you guys can do but enough of me babbling on i am going to show you guys how to properly install it so basically what i'm going to be doing is uh removing this clamp obviously um i'm going to be putting one of the plugs on it um on it right now just to go ahead and get it out of the way because I mean it's part of the installation anyways but I'm gonna remove this right here pull it back lift stuff on this slide that over take the plug and that's literally all you do and um I actually forgot a fly head, one second. Sorry about that. You gotta grab this. Basically, it fits on there snug, but you're dealing with stuff that has a vacuum and whatnot and like a lot of power. Basically what I'm saying, I don't really know what I'm saying, but clamp it down so it won't pop off. Because if it pops off, you're gonna be pulling in from here air from in from here and uh it defeats the purpose of having a filter on your uh, intake so basically going to be doing that tighten it down snug snug as a bug all right it should be good that's one plug now, probably the most difficult process of this install is going to be getting it in the back of my uh, valve cover. I hope I don't have to take off my upper plenum. I've done it before um, in my video of how to replace your valve cover, but that's a lot of bolts I have to deal with, and I kind of really don't want to do that right now. But if I have to do it, I have to do it. So, uh, keep trucking along. I'm going to remove this valve over here. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's a PCT valve right here. Um, basically, same process. Disconnect the clamp, put in the plug, and you're finished. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my clamps, grab my pliers, pull back on it. And this should be a fairly easy process. If you guys are struggling with this, and you guys might be struggling with everything else. These are simple modifications that will help your engine run better and lengthen the life of it. So, excuse me. Woo. If you guys could wait till your engine cools down, that would be great. Mine's hot as shit right now. I'm burning myself. I'm burning myself for you guys. <laughs> Sorry for the sudden cut, but I plugged that side over there. Um, I'm not the, the plug that I used I might need to go smaller So um, hopefully that works, but it creates a vacuum, so it should be fine, but um I'm gonna have to remove the old hose that was connected to my intake Um, for me I had to take off my remove my intake and move it out of the area so I can remove that clip back there um, I'm actually going to keep that clips for my uh, hosing that I'm going to be putting there so Let's get to that By the way guys, if you see me flinching a lot, it's because my engine bay is still hot. Um, funny thing is that I barely drove it. Like the auto, auto zone is literally, what, maybe a mile and a half away. This thing is hot as hell.
I'm gonna be in the way of the shot a lot, so I apologize for that. I'm actually gonna update you guys when I get this off. Got it out, this is what it looks like. Um, simple hosing. Um, I'm gonna be taking these clamps because they're still good and whatnot. And I'm gonna be reusing them. And just in case, I would keep this hosing. You know, you, you never know. Just, I keep all my car parts, like I still kept my uh, headlights, for example. But headlights are a lot more valuable than a hose. And, you know, eventually if you can save yourself money down the road, just in case, like, I guess if the oil catch can fails or whatever, or whatever else goes on that I need to put this back on, you can do it. So. I got four foot hosing. This might be excessive. But. It should work. Alright, so basically what I'm gonna do is just get back there with this. Pick it up. Everything should be okay. Obviously, position yourself for a good position when you go down there. So I'm gonna make sure this clamp is really, really easily accessible from that little hole down there. So I'm gonna go in the back of the plenum, find this spout, work my way around it. There you go. It'll fit right in, so it should be good. You gotta make sure you, you have it snug in there and then put the clip over it. Now I'm gonna have to pull the clip back a little bit uh, backwards because right now it's stopping the uh, it's stopping the uh, the nipple. I'm just gonna pull our nipple from going in all the way. Just like that, you have it installed. Push it in a little bit more. All right, so hopefully I didn't push it too far back and hopefully I can get that out. And just like that, it's connected. <laughs> well, guys, I was talking to myself for like five minutes, so that kind of sucks. But you guys didn't miss much. I connected the, the 15 millimeter hosing right here to the uh, valve cover on the driver's side, right underneath the uh, throttle body. But back there, you'll see where I hooked it up, right above my finger. Um, I reused the old clamps from the old hosing right here um, I don't think I recorded this part but basically I said keep this and uh, just in case something happens you never know but I want to save money in the future even though my car is taking all of it but basically just routed that back there squeezed my hand in there it wasn't too hard it took like five minutes like I said um, now I'm gonna ride it through the back I'm gonna place the oil catch can over here the bracket that came with it, it I don't think it mounts up to anything because it's classified as universal so it's not made specifically for the uh, G35 but it can go on it um, typically what I've heard is that oil catch cans that are specifically made for mount right here and that you have to uh, cut into your uh, fan shroud right here just a little bit not too much but I'm gonna route it over here like I've seen almost literally 
everyone else do. And I'm probably gonna zip tie it to one of these brackets, uh, to one of the, where the hood lies on, or the uh, power steering reservoir. Bracket it somewhere for right now with zip ties. And um, eventually when I feel like it, I'll create something for it to be in there good. So I'm gonna start installing the catch can now. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Gonna remove this hosing from the PCV valve right here. And this should pop right out. Hopefully this isn't gunked up. If you see this gunked up, replace it because that means um, all that uh, blow by and uh, grime and shit plugged your PCV valve, which isn't good. So you wanna replace it. So basically same as usual, you'll just come around, unclip the clamp. It's really easy and a spot that's accessible. Shouldn't be difficult at all. Should pop off like that. Now mine doesn't look dirty, so that's a good that's a good sign. Now basically what you're gonna wanna do is take your hosing, How bad about that? Lost my screwdriver for a second. But I'm not gonna reuse that clamp. It looked a little uh, nasty and like old. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the ones that came with the kit. Um, if you don't trust them, you can go to uh, Home Depot. I'm not sure if any auto parts still will have those little, uh, I don't know what these are called. You'll see them right here. You use a Phillips head or a uh, star. And you just screw it in. Right, that is flush. So I'm gonna want to go ahead and tighten this up. Now, what I would recommend doing, unless you're really, really confident in yourself, which I'm confident in myself, but sometimes it's better to have more hosing than less hosing because eventually you'll just screw yourself over, and that's gonna be a bad thing. this up, push this a little down, further down, there you go, now guys don't feel afraid to tighten these a whole lot, you're not going to strip anything, So that's secured in there very very well. Now time for the for the fun for the fun part. You gotta take an oil catch can that I have right here. Now what I'm gonna do is place I have to cut it first, obviously. But my end for me, I'm gonna have to go in towards my uh my uh, P PCV valve. Where my PCV valve used to be, I'm gonna have that going into my out, my, to my in, I'm sorry. The one that's connected to my valve cover that's on my dri driver's side is gonna go to my out. So if you'll see here, I have a 15 millimeter, uh, I don't know, nipple? I'm just gonna call it a nipple. And then I have a nine millimeter right here. So basically, it's gonna hook up like this. obviously with less hosing and you guys get the point so it's gonna hook up exactly like that so I'm gonna go ahead and trim these get everything hooked up squared away should be good all right well I got my tools that I'm gonna be cutting with I'm gonna get a rough estimate of where I want it I'm gonna give myself a little bit extra than what I want so actually let me see where I want to mount my oil catch cap first so I'm gonna pause the video, then I'll update you guys once I find a spot. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna mount it over here towards the power steering. Um, I think it is possible for me to mount it in the front, but um, I'm not gonna do that right now. 
so yeah let's do that but i have these i don't think i'm gonna use this tool i'm gonna use a razor blade you want to make sure that you get a nice flat even cut all the way around and if you guys have brand new razor blades it'll cut through it like butter like nothing so that's a that's a pretty good cut not the best but it's good all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, my little uh, fastener Alright, so I finally got the 90mm uh, on. Um, I was using the wrong fitting on the uh, test stand itself. So I guess I was using a 10. It must have been 10 millimeters versus 9. So after about 5 minutes of me finagling with it, I realized that I had the wrong fitting on. guys is going to be just enough for if you're working on the G35 to route it from the uh, valve cover to over here. Um, I wind it up with roughly 7 inches left. So what I'm going to do now, place it on this nozzle over here, slide my clamp down. The cap can itself is already in a snug place. Um, I am gonna still zip tight though. Um, it's just se seated well between the uh, coolant reservoir, the power steering, and the, uh, the hood thingy, whatever the hell this is called. But basically, you can see that I have mesh mat hardware. I'll I'll solve that eventually. Um, it's not a car show. I mean, it's not car show quality which I'm not really trying to make it be, but I am trying to make my car look nice, so I'm not worried about it right now. Apparently you can strip it, right? or it's not catching on the uh, link. All right, that should be good. It's not really wanting to back out too much. guys and now worst things comes to worst you'll have a vacuum leak you should be able to diagnose with a vacuum leak it's pretty obvious if you messed up on it or not um, everything seems to be routed correctly I'm gonna put back in my intake and I'm gonna do the first startup of the car after the mod Alright, well, you guys are gonna witness my engine blow up if it doesn't go right. Obviously, exaggerating, but. Alright, here we go.
right, I hope you guys enjoyed this install as I did, and peace out.